mining investment life cycle falls into three key phases. First, speculation and discovery. This is akin to lottery tickets or bets on the roulette table. Second is investment in the ground. This is where real money is spent and the risk reward is still suboptimal. Finally, it's the production growth, free cash flow generation phase. This is the best risk reward stage to invest and few companies ever genuinely enter this third phase. Identifying these companies is an important screen for investors. At Capital 10X, we believe Sierra Metals is one of these miners. Here's CFO Ed Gamerez to provide an introduction to the company. Sierra Metals is a Canadian-based public mining company. We're listed on the Toronto and New York Stock Exchanges. We have three operating mines in two countries. These are highly favorable jurisdictions, Peru and Mexico. We produce copper, zinc, lead, silver and gold. Our primary mine is the Yaracocha mine. It produces approximately 80% of our production followed by our Bolivar mine, which is largely a copper mine in Mexico, and then our smaller mine and still developing Arcusi mine, also located in Mexico. Sierra Metals is very much a growth story. At our Yaracocha mine, we're currently producing at 3,100 tons per day, and we're looking to bring that to 5,500 tons per day in 2022. Going to our Bolivar mine, we're currently producing just shy of 4,000 tons per day, and we're looking to bring that up to 5,000 tons per day next year. At Kusi, we're still holding at the 1,200 ton per day level while we focus on Bolivar and Yaracocha. However, there is still a lot of upside to be had at the Kusi mine. We spent $200 million over the last three to four years, uh, and we really haven't signaled to the market that we are in that uh, free cash flow generation mode. Additionally, identifying those free cash flow generating companies that trade at a discount to their intrinsic net asset value is the sweet spot for mining investments. Sierra Metals is a diversified miner that is entering its free cash flow growth phase and trades at a material discount to its net asset value. We asked Sierra's management team about the key aspects of their operations and this critical pivot to free cash flow generation. We've been at a discount compared to our peers on PNAV and that's primarily due to the lower float that we see in the market on a daily basis. As we start to harvest cash in the coming years and we start to see increased cash flow, those multiples should improve. The second part of that is that we have some upcoming 43 101s for all three mines. Uh, for the Bolivar and Yaracocha mine should be by the end of this year, the Kusi mine by mid to next year. Uh, once we bring out those statements, I think the market will start to understand the higher quality resources and the investments that we've made and appreciate what the company is doing for its shareholders.